What up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Schisma Weed, and we are playing Resident Evil, and this is part seven. This might be the final episode, but we'll see. Look at Jill. She's all impatient and stuff. She's like, come on, I'm waiting. Come on, pick up the controller. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> so in the last episode, I had a little bit... One second. Alrighty, sorry about that. I had to look at my window real quick because sometimes there's been a raccoon coming up to my backyard <clears throat> and I have a bunch of cats and that raccoon has been killing my chickens they're pretty much all gone now anyway enough of the raccoon let's go upstairs and use the slide up here in this room And there's something here, I remember. Security systems. Alright, let's, let's not worry about that. So like I was saying, I was having some problems with the computer to unlock all these doors. And it was just some spelling problems, some very minor spelling problems. It's a projector. Well, let's use this. <clears throat> Umbrella ink. Bioweapons. The M839, Carborus, whoa, that's the dog, zombie dog, Neptune, that's the shark, the hunter, and the tyrant, whoa, that right there is the final boss. Blank piece of paper. Bioweapons research. An R and D staff. Oh shit, look at that. That one looks suspiciously suspiciously like Wesker. That man has to wear his glasses in every situation. There's a button. Will you press it? Yes, let's press the button. Is this anyway I forget what this is oh yes use the lab key yes we'll take the lab key or is there something intercom does not seem to be operating okay it's an intercom so we're done with that room I'm trying to look and see if I need <clears throat> Trying to see if I need to go back to the storage box or not, but I don't. So let's go back down here. Well, actually, first, let's go back through these doors. And go through this door over here, since we couldn't go through it before. distance wasn't a complete waste, but that one was. Alright. <clears throat> Facts. Nope, 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 not gonna read it. Don't care. Even though it's basically telling you the story. I don't wanna read it. I don't wanna spend time to read it, you know what I'm saying? It's a passcode output machine. Okay, so this is it. If I had an MO disk, I could get the code. We just happen to have an MO disk right here. What do you know? <clears throat> passcode 01. All right, so we got one of the codes. There are two more machines scattered throughout the lab. And 
we will, uh... We will get him. So let's go ahead and use the passcode on this door right here. A passcode panel. You want to enter the passcode? Yes. There. <clears throat> One out of the three lights are blinking um, blue, so that's good. All right. One down, two to go. And before we continue, let's go ahead and go back up to the storage bin and pick up the other two MO discs just so we have them in our inventory in case we run across one of them machines, although I'm pretty sure I know where they're at. So let's make sure we have them in our inventory whenever we run across one. We'll have it. You dig? We don't need two healing items. I know there's some more magnum rounds hidden around here somewhere. I just don't know where. it using the lab key all right so this is useless now yes let's get rid of it <clears throat> let's go through here oh all right <clears throat> I remember this this was one of the most stupidest puzzles in the game. I mean, it's, it's easy to do, but it's pointless. But I, I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like they put this in the game right at the end just to waste your damn time. Right when you're getting close to the end of the game, right at the three hour, you start to get close to the three hour mark. But yeah, they want to go ahead and waste your damn time once again with these stupid minuscule little puzzles. That's all right though. I don't think we're gonna hit the three hour mark. I'm just saying for people or going after the infinite rocket launcher to have this in your way <clears throat> it's kind of it's kind of like oh why why are you gonna put this in my way I gotta do all this shit I might have to scoot that box over farther it might be you know what just in case let's go ahead and scoot it just a little bit farther over because I want to make sure I'm gonna mess this up Because if I leave the room and come back, all that stuff gets reset, so you can redo it just in case you messed up, whatever, you know what I mean? Alright. <clears throat> we have to move them boxes over them little vents right there because there's a button, and if you, once you press that button, some gas will come out and start doing damage to you. And we don't need that! Alright, more magnum rounds. Like I said, I knew there was some more around here somewhere, I just didn't know where. Look at the dead bodies. This place seems to be like a morgue. Yep. Oh, look at that. A passcode. Good thing I brought the MO disc with me. I got the second passcode. All right. One more to get. I've 
unlocked it. <clears throat> Let's go back through here. Remember what's through these doors. Okay, yes, I do remember now. So, there's gonna be some new enemies right there called the Chimera. I think it's called the Chimera. And, uh, yeah, they'll do some damage to you, just like the hunters. Whoops, I'm gonna do that right here. It's a power panel. It seems some areas do not have power. Can you activate the, the blocked out areas? Yes. <clears throat> Let's activate the blocked out areas. Oh, okay. They have these little weird worms. bit like Hunter, and it will kill you super fast too if you're not careful. Well, we do need to go through this area, so let's get it done and out the way. Come on, come forward, bitch. Oh, look at that. There's a code reader. Let's use the final MO disk. We need the third code for that door. Oh yeah. Whoa! Things remind me of Jeepers Creepers. I suppose they're not as threatening as the hunters. Because the hunters are super threatening. They can kill them or stay out of that area. The trigger system activated. It's quite big. I don't know what that means. Do I even need to be in the power connection? Yes, so the power the elevator is activated. And the power is Now, good thing about this area that we went through. Once you kill all the Chimera in here, they shouldn't respawn. There shouldn't be no more enemies here. So that's good. Because I hate them damn things. Even though they're not as threatening as the Hunters, I just, I just, I hate them. Because they're big and they fucking do a lot of damage to you if they get a chance to hit you. Or if they get a chance to hit you. And it could end your whole run. Everything you've worked up to up to this point, and you have to walk through that area. It's mandatory. You have to activate power to that elevator. That's right over here. Right there. And that actually is towards the final boss. That's towards the end of the game somewhat. Well, the first final boss. Because you do have to fight him more than once. So I forgot about that. And thank well, and and it's good that they put a save spot right here as well, because it is well needed. I 
just as a precaution, I am going to take a max health with me. But I'm not going to take any more ammo with me because we have more than enough to take on the first version of the Tyrant. And I'm not going to save the game because we don't need to save the game. I've already saved it three times. That's more than enough on this entire playthrough. So let's open this shit up and get to it. Jill! Oh, Jill. <clears throat> Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? This motherfucker come out Look, of nowhere. Uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. So the reason why those, um, the reason why I had him come with me in the dungeon area, that's what I'm gonna call it, the dungeon area, the underground dungeon, is because if you were to, to have him go ahead of you, then he ends up dying, and he won't be there for this part. But either way, what's about to Whisker. happen? Whisker, you did a fine job, Barry. You're gonna wish Just he was dead anyway. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away Not from really. Barry, kind of fucked up what Wesker's I hear that his him. wife Let's and watch two it. daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry. Go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Oh, no. Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Oh, hell yeah. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by that. him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker <laughs> was going to show you at the back of this place? <clears throat> well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature <laughs> run loose. Fuck? Maybe you're right. Let's go then. So all that shit that Wesker was talking about with the tyrant and him building it and all that shit, like, what? Y'all gonna go in there and release it? You wanna look at it now? Like, fuck all that. Get out of here. Who cares? Y'all was scared about it in the first place when Wesker was alive, and now you ain't. Also, I wanna say, 
uh, why is Wesker American voiced in this game? In, in, in Resident Evil 4, he's uh, British. In Resident Evil 5, he's British. I mean, I never played the remastered version of Resident Evil 1, so I don't know if they changed the voice actor of like Wesker in, really in that the on the GameCube version weapon? or the HD version on Xbox One and really? PS4. But Wesker is a uh, crazy man. Yeah. Why'd they do that? Not I always thought developed. Wesker was supposed to be American. On top of that, this the way that I played but this can't through. Let it live. Um, Wesker is going that to live. That must be the computer from if monitoring Barry this died creature. earlier in the dungeon, then Wesker will be in here with the tyrant, and then the tyrant would have killed Wesker, and he would have been dead. So technically, this is kind of the canon version that I played, kind of, if you will, because Wesker's still alive. Also, I haven't forgot about the passcode door yet. We can still get to that. We haven't. Remember, I haven't forgotten about that. Damn you! Yeah, look at what you did. You just gonna press some buttons on the computer, drain the water, and then all of a sudden, oh, oh. shit! Like, why? Why are you even in the can't Control what it does. I would have left. Oh, let's get out of here. All right, I only got two shots for that. Look, he's trapped on Barry too. Look at that. Two shots from the Magnum, two shots from, from the flame rounds, and he's down. I mean, this is standard mode. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. So on a ranged mode, he's obviously a lot harder. But the first battle that you fight... Barry? Alive. Barry? Yeah, he's still You're alive. You're alive! I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. All right. So the first battle that you fight Tyrant is always the easiest one, but the second battle that you fight Tyrant, that's the main battle. That's the big one. to Wesker. He's gone. Y'all should have killed him when you had a chance. Then again, you guys Wesker don't do this kind of Y'all are good guys. There's not much time left for us. Oh no, self-destruct sequence is initiated. So this is the final part for Resident Evil. I mean, we haven't finished it yet, but this will be the final part. I'm not going to do another another episode, another installment. This will be the final installment. All right. So let's go and unlock the door. Pass. Oh. Let's just run. I forgot about that. Fucking one chimera out there in the lab. few enemies in the game, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we need any more ammo at this point. Oh shit, you know what I just I forgot about? Hold on, hold on. We might need some more ammo. Hold up, let me get some more. Okay. I find it there, dude. We gotta go back. Right. 
See how easy it is to forget about that door? Like you're so eager to just end the game. But nope. Not yet. Oh. Oh, Jill! Oh, Chris. And it's Chris! So you're okay? Yeah, you too! What happened to Wesker? Let's talk about it later. Let's get out of here! Alright, remember we was looking for him at the very beginning of the game first, when we very first walked into the mansion. We were just looking for Chris. Now that we've got him, we can officially get out of here. So there is multiple different ways of playing this to get different endings, different scenarios. Let's go! Which is really good, it adds to a lot of replayability. You can replay it different ways. You see the different scenarios, which is great. But we will not be doing any of that in this playthrough with me, Schismal. Oh god. Go up the stairs. We're doing this one and final playthrough right here and at the end of this video I will show you guys that I have unlocked the infinite rocket launcher not that it really matters on a ranged mode like I was saying at the beginning of episode one or was it episode two let's go first Chris with the let's go sound like that. It was just a Hurry! Right. The whole team is here now. <laughs> of course they have to put this little obstacle in your way right at the end of the game just to make you do one extra thing before you leave there is three minutes until explosion oh no you must be kidding after you've come all the way here ladies first go first Jill but Chris Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. What the hell? I'm just gonna stay behind. Look, the timer's still going and I can't even move. I'm in a loading screen, but the timer is still flowing on. Just giving you that extra edge, just putting you on the edge of your seat like, oh shit, it's about to come to an end. Flares. Now right here is the final boss battle. But I'm pretty sure on standard mode and the way that I played this, that there is no final boss mode. There is no final 
boss. Because usually he comes breaking or busting out of the, the ground and uh, you'd have to fight him. And it's a more intense battle considering you're outside on the helicopter pad. Oh shit. Well, guess what? Looks like we're going to fight him. I didn't think we was able to fight him on this one. In this way. I should have been more prepared. Whoa, bitch. Okay. I think I have enough ammo. Holy shit, I didn't... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm about to die. Let's just unload on him. Okay, let's move, let's move. No, 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 don't get trapped in the corner. Where's my health at? Shit. I better use it now. Fuck it, if I don't use it now, then I'm probably gonna die. Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Yes, I need that, I need that. Thank you, Brad. Oh, God. I'm at caution, too. Run, run, run. Press start. Equipped it. Aim. Shoot. Yes. We killed him. Oh, my God. I was not expecting to have to fight him. But either way, we did it. I mean, shit. We, we beat the tyrant. That's awesome. See, I wasn't too sure if that was going to happen or not. <clears throat> but I think it has something to do with the fact that Barry survived and also Chris was with, was with me as well. I think that's why it happened. Because I think if you forget Chris, or if you let Barry die, then you get the official bad ending or something like that. But I think what we just did there was the canon ending. Wesker got away, we fought the tyrant, we killed the tyrant, the place blew up. And now look, we saved Chris because we was looking for him at the very beginning of the game. And Barry is with us as well. Jill is worn out. She's tired. I mean, who wouldn't be after that? I mean, jeez. Includes the Resident Evil Director's Cut with me, Schismoweed. I don't know if you can even hear me over the music, so I might have to speak a little bit louder. These cutscenes are really cool. They show a good 3D image of bosses. It's pretty awesome. Whoa, cutting kind of close there on that one, huh? Get it. Yeah.
Yeah, buddy. Resident Evil. Wow. Look at that time. That couldn't have been any more fucking perfect. A total time of five hours exactly and 58 seconds. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I mean, we didn't get the three hour time, but just look how perfect that time is. Usually it's all odd, but five hours exactly and basically one extra minute. That's fantastic. I've never seen that before. Oh, you've got the special key you found or find in closet. Okay. Okay now ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the final episode of Resident Evil with me, Schismaweed, and I will see you in the next gameplay that I do, and I don't know what it'll be and when it'll be, but I appreciate you. If you liked what you see, give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more of me, Schismaweed. Thank you for watching. The one that you look up to, bitch. The way you fight me, I'm super and sick.